Hi. Hi, welcome. I'm Pam Holt and this is Inside B&B. And today I'm very excited to talk to the owner of a really cool online store. Hi, welcome. I'm Pam Holt and this is Inside B&B. And today I'm very excited to talk to the owner of a really cool online store called Global Attic. I'm going to bring in Cabria Cummings and she's going to tell us all about why you should um, incorporate, uh, and there's lots of names for it, Tribal Lux, uh, Global Decor, uh, Primitive Chic, uh, Rustic Chic. There's all kinds of different uh, names for it. But Essentially, it's uh, artifacts and items and um, collectibles from different parts of the world. And the reason I think it's such a cool idea for short-term rental hosts is because, you know, we're all about travel. And our guests are all about travel. And so it's a nice way to bring in uh, interesting pieces. It used to be, back in the day, when we actually... Um, had conversations with people face to face. It was a good way to start a conversation, and um, and they're unique and they show personality, and it's a really nice touch to any kind of decor. So I'm going to go ahead and bring our guest on. I'm very excited. Let's see. I think she's connecting now. Hey. Here we go. Hey, there you are. Hi. Yes. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to have you. I can't wait to. Uh, I was just saying a little bit about your store and you have online pieces from around the world. Why don't you tell us um, how you got started, how long you've been doing this, and, uh, and then we'll get into some of the pieces. Hopefully, I can't wait to see some of the pieces. Okay, perfect. So, um, I started this thing, which is really kind of uh, crazy because I had a string of losses that sort of um, catapulted me, you know, uh, design. And it started with losing my parents. Mm -hmm. And so I lost my parents. Lost my car. All of these like crazy things were happening where, you know, I would ultimately end up 11 years. Um, I lost a job of half a year. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was like, and it was crazy because it was like back to back to back. Uh. And, you know, it was like I had surgery. Anything that possibly could have gone wrong went wrong. That's and, tough. Yeah, it was just, it was just so crazy. Even like my favorite DJ, I'm a big house fan, so Frankie <laughs> Knuckles died. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was big here in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. And so, like I said, my favorite artist, Prince, died. And so it was all of these things that made me just kind of stop and take notice of my life and what I wanted to be doing for the next phase of my life. And, you know, I always loved interior decorating. My parents were huge into it. I mean, they loved the whole global aesthetic. And, me too. Yeah, and then I had a cousin who was a professional director who would travel the world with um, Alvin Ailey and Martha Graham. Oh, fun. She would bring things from her travels back to us all the time. And so uh, I was around that all the time. And so um, I think it was in 2015, actually, I took a trip to Kenya, and that really reignited my love for collecting ethnic pieces. And I was just really inspired by the artisans there. And so I, my thought was that, you know, I'll start this kind of interior decorating um, home decor store, if you will, on the side while I just kind of get my feet up on Figure it out. out. Yeah. And then it's just that was four years ago. So nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm sorry. That's how you got your start. It sounds very difficult, but um, I'm glad you started. Thank and you. Uh, I want to tell just a really quick story about why I love this um, so much. I, uh, I went to Africa for the first time and I took my, my daughters there. And, you know, of course, I've always been into home decor and interior design as, as well. So, you know, I bought all these pieces, right? And one of the pieces that I bought was this, uh, and it sounds kind of weird, but it's gorgeous, this carved uh, water buffalo skull. So oh. it's a big piece and it's just, so anyway, they package it up and everything and I'm too cheap to ship it home because that's, you know, it's going to cost as much as a piece. Yeah. So, we, you know, we box it all up and then we go on to finish our trip and trying to get through customs 
with something like that and trying to explain it to somebody in another language and they x-ray it so they're like like what are what? you what's in that package <laughs> what and you right like you, what, you got something dead in there what's happening what? and so i when i when i found you i was like okay i don't have to go to these places it's nice if you can go and collect things as part of the experience but some of the pieces I can just go to you. I don't have to carry them around and try to, you know, I'm get people to let me back in the country. <laughs> and what part right. of the country was that? We went to South Africa. We went, oh. uh, but then we took a side trip to uh, Mozambique. So oh, we we're trying to get uh, back out of Mozambique. And they wanted to open the package. They wanted, I was like, I was like, you can't open the package. I'll never get that. And the plane is sitting there. And I'm like, you know, and I'm trying to show them pictures of what oh, it was a disaster. So anyway, now I have you and I don't have to, you know, carry yeah, around a bunch of I skulls. Say really quickly, if I can um, interject, it's funny because I'll do markets and I'll do like Randolph Street Market and there are mm. other vendors here who I love and they'll come up to me and they'll look at my inventory and they're like, how did you get this through customs? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, well, don't walk it through because that's not going to work real. So. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you know, I had a container. All, all of my stuff got confiscated. Apparently, I have a sitting on my, my shoulder here. There you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. So I, I, love this, uh, I love this idea for host um, because I think uh, you can add your pieces to any decor. You don't right. have to have, like, I'm not trying to get people to create a whole museum in their right. short-term rental. It's just about having a few statement pieces that are really interesting, really get the conversation going, look really fabulous in your marketing pictures. You know, it, it makes you, and I'm always saying this, it's about differentiating your unit from every other short-term rental unit. And there are, you know, at this point, there are hundreds of thousands of them out there. But they're not hundreds of thousands with a fabulous statement piece, you know, and on their front cover image that catches your attention when you're going through all the many different ones that you're going to look at if you're a guest trying to book a space. So that said, let's see what you got. Let's see what I got. Okay, okay. so going in with what you just said, which is I don't have to say anything because you said it all. You definitely want to differentiate and you don't want to have things that are just going to be obtrusive and, and just, you know, obnoxious. So what I would suggest is that if you, and we talked about this before, um, you know, if you have a console, you can add little tasteful touches in like this necklace decor. And this is a big one for us. Uh, very it's made of coconut shells and brass, which is cool. Everybody loves brass now and gold. So you get that little bit of touch. And you really don't know where this is from. It's actually um, from Nia's Island, which is the island off of um, Indonesia. But That's so cool. So how is, how is that coconut shell? Like, is it? You know, these pieces are all from coconut. So they're like carved and, and put yep. together? I, I can't see yep. enough detail to. So they're, so they're oh, all. Okay. Together. Wow very um intricate and patient work <laughs> nice so is that on a stand let's so you have it on the stand Does, on. okay and the stand is part of the purchase yep exactly uh most nice. of our necklace decor uh come with stands so okay. and keeping with the necklace decor you have something like this that's also from Indonesia. okay so i love ha, 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 that yes, yes. So another uh, popular piece so again these pieces can go on a console we also had shout out to um our brick house style they purchased one for their uh shelf so this can nice. also shelf um we made a custom stand for her so it was a little bit smaller she gave us the uh dimensions and then we went ahead and got that stand made for her um again another nice. This piece, which is really, I love this piece. Whoa, fabulous. And again, it comes on a stand. What is that made of? So these are all called split shells, uh, loomy shells. Okay. And they would, this one comes from Papua New Guinea. Um, they would use these shells here, which come from a big clam, I understand. They would use these as currency. Back oh, in okay. It's really a beautiful piece, and so and it's more robust. So you know, yeah. worried about someone bumping into something. You know, you just kind of situate these pieces away from 
you know, your major traffic area. Right, 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 right. So for, for hosts, I mean, that's a big deal because, you know, you have people who don't necessarily feel the way you feel about your pieces. So I have the pieces that I have. I have um, on top of cabinets. So you have that space before you get to the ceiling. So I have them up there. I have them up high on, on the wall or somewhere that because people yep. travel with their kids. And so you don't want them all, you know, groped. But, right. um, but, okay. but you could still incorporate them. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing I like about those is that they are um, sizable. So yeah. you don't, it's, it's not a real small piece, uh, piece where you have to have a bunch of them before you make an impact. You can have a piece and, and that can be the piece. That piece concept is like you really, because again, you don't want to overwhelm. And that's the beauty of statement pieces is that you definitely want to just kind of make those the, the centerpiece of what you're doing and then kind of build around it, but not make sure you're not competing. You know? Okay. Okay. The other thing I like to tell people, because a lot of people are intimidated uh, with their design. And so I tell people that it's always interesting for other people, for people who are coming to your home to uh, see a collection. So right. a collection is, you know, at least three things. And so the way you have uh, those three necklaces, you wouldn't necessarily have to group them together. But if you had them uh, on a large bookcase or if you had them, um, you know, positioned throughout your home, now you have a collection. Now you are interesting. You collect, you right. know, necklaces. <laughs> That's cool. And you, That's you, could, right. you could, as you travel, you could, and this is what I do, I collect masks. So you know, every time I travel somewhere, I'm looking for a new mask to add to my collection. So if you were doing a necklace thing, you could, you know, look for a necklace in your next, uh, in, during your next adventure. And that's interesting. And it adds to your story as a yep. host. Uh, and you can market around that, you know, and so. And it's all about my... marketing and telling a story and telling your story, because that's the thing you mentioned that there's so much competition with short-term rentals. Mm -hmm. And you really want to stand out head and shoulders above everyone else. So you want to beyond the, the preliminary um, customer service that you would offer as a host. You want them to look, and this is about marketing, you stage your home and you style your home to really kind of invite someone in. They look at the picture and say, I got to see this place. It looks beautiful. It's tasty. Right. Um, you don't want the feeling of, wow, I just feel like I'm going to sleep on somebody's sofa. You know, you really, <laughs> right. want, you really want that right. you know, to feel like, hey, I, you know, I'm not in a hotel, but this might as well be. Right. It's better than a hotel because it's more interesting because you don't, you know, unless you're on a really high end hotel, you're not finding interesting pieces like that. So that's what people want. They don't want, um, they, you know, especially now with, uh, with the pandemic, you know, hotels have lost favor uh, for obvious reasons. And so people are looking to be in short term rentals, um, which means uh, at some point, not now necessarily, but hopefully next year, there are going to be a lot of short term rentals out there because one, people are going to need the money because they lost their job or they're underemployed. And two, um, they get it. People don't want to do this hotel piece anymore. So you have got to figure out how does your story set you apart, like you yeah. said, and what do your photos look like? What are you doing are that everybody easy. else isn't doing? Yep. Photos are just, I mean, I can't, being a graphic designer, I'm a little bit biased, but even still, um, it was funny you had asked me about one of my back <laughs> now your backgrounds yeah. are fabulous. People have been asking me and it's just amazing how my use of that backdrop just elevates my my product photos. And so See? it's it's that same thing. It's that same idea that you really have to, because you only have, I mean, people are sifting through so many different lists. Like this, too. This is how right. quickly they're going through. That's right. And so with, you want something that's going to, just like social media, stop them in their tracks and make them say, okay, that's the place for me. And so you also mentioned uh, wall decor. I love making use of wall space because yeah. that's a way to keep things out of the way. Um, so like we have uh, wall decor like this. If you that is them. gorgeous. Um, and that's about 22 inches. We do sell them at 34 inches as well, but, uh, but we have this one, we have it in white as well. Um, that's beautiful popular um, so but we have mirrors and other um, necklaces that can go up on the wall as well so is that a mirror is the little center part 
uh, a mirror or is that actually it's just a little um little uh shell oh okay that's lovely i love it uh fringe uh necklaces uh, uh mirrors i'm sorry made out of um seagrass and it's dyed mm. black before if i say so myself oh, i saw those those are real <laughs> nice I supply all the time so, uh but you know i have to love so that you know i feel that people will love it as well so if i'm not i, I um, moving right. Um, you know what? I want to go back to your background because um, I want people to know what we're talking about. When you go to the site, globaladdict.com, you see the shop center. You'll see all of her items, and there's this grayish, to me, it looks <laughs> kind of grayish blue. It looks like Venetian plaster, and yep. she's got her items in front of it. And that really is what you're talking about when you want people to stop and look because I spent more time looking at your background because I do <laughs> a little bit of Venetian plaster, and I was like, ah. That was really good. And then to find out it was just a background. But it stopped me in my tracks. And yeah. that is what you're looking for in your, um, in your listing photos, something with that kind of impact. So I just wanted to explain I, that. I, I feel like I should get stock in this company because so many people <laughs> ask me about it. But so this is another uh, piece that you oh. can go on. So it's a brass and nice. heavy weight to it. So again, more robust uh, pieces. Nice. Uh, in terms of your coffee table, you can do uh, bowls, or even on the shelf, you can do uh, like brass bowls. The little odds and ends like this placed throughout. Is that one brass? Is that bowl brass? Yes, it's a uh, brass trim. Yep. Oh, and nice. Yep. And it has this uh, aged uh, motif on it. So um, would you style that with anything in it, or would you just leave it as it is? You can, or just you know, leave it as is and let it um, speak for itself on the shelf. Okay, nice. So you do that. Um, we have, uh, we've got a couple of these in, but one, the big one that I was going to show. Uh, so, but this is a chapati um, box where they would store bread in it in India at about 60, 70 years old. You can wow. put this on the coffee table with um, a plant or, you know, your coffee table books, some beads, something like that. Even in uh, my feed, I have this one featured with one of our long, tribal necklaces so okay does so, that open up does the top open it does up? up it's very um tarnished in there but um yeah okay so, so you know what i would put my tv remote controls in there because <laughs> <laughs> i hate for them to be out like that but that's such a sweet right, way to do it too. <laughs> but so you have those pieces like that you have um oh i mentioned the tribal oh. So you have like something like this, and you have the black one featured on the uh, feed currently. I have to have that. I you have know? to that. Are you? Um, are your prices on the on the website? Yeah, of course yeah. they are, because you can buy right from the website. How much is that? I need to so have this, that. This one is two thirty, and uh, we actually that is gorgeous. We actually just had a um, big sale where we um, had that one, but yeah, that one actually was in House and Garden uh, magazine. So, which was really cool. Um, but moving along, we have like things that <sighs> also go. I would put this on top of something. Um, you can put it on a, a coffee table if you want, console, um, either or. But yeah, you. this is a custom color. We usually do these in white and black. But They're gorgeous in white and black too, but that one is so interesting. Yeah, I asked for this to be done in gold. So we did this one in gold and we had them with the black feathers and brown like this. And then we also have them with, um, we can get them with white feathers as well. So, but this was like my favorite. Okay, so do you take orders from people or you, um, because your pieces are so unique, you just have what you have? I have what I have, but then like when it sells out, we'll have people that'll ask, well, hey, can I get this again? And I'll, you know, the orders so okay you know it depends on the demand for it um i like to do small batches mostly because i you know i'm a gemini too so i like to move on a lot <laughs> you know, I out, i'm like okay i've done something else but you know um people want what they want so that's what we do um, i love those i love those hats that's thanks. those are really cool so at, you had mentioned masks, and so I just brought this as a, just an idea of like one of the masks that we have, like different African masks 
that we have that can again go up on the wall and they can go with pieces like this and again um you don't want to overwhelm so maybe a couple of masks to go with things like that would work mm -hmm. i like so, your pieces are are big so you like you uh, say you don't have to do a lot that's nice right? and that's what i liked about them is that when i source things i'm looking at things that are again going to be able to exist in their own space and breathe in their, their own space so that they're not having to, I mean, because the price points are a bit pricey. So I want people to feel like, okay, you're getting a lot for your money. Because mm -hmm. otherwise with smaller pieces, you have to group them together that have impact. Exactly. And then it kind of takes away from the end in my opinion, it can take away from the individual pieces. So yeah. I like a big, bigger the better. Like the cabinet behind you is beautiful. I just keep eyeing. <laughs> well, that's because I'm, 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 you know, I'm positioned this way so you can see it. So you can yeah. tell me what goes here. That's that marketing, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, I want you to tell me exactly what to get. Turn around and point to it, and then I will. that's what's going to happen. No, I love that. I think you're doing well, you know, but one of the maybe smaller pieces would go with that well. Okay. Um, we'll talk. Like, yes, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I think, oh, I forgot this little uh, guy here. And again, this is something that can just go on the shelf. It's just a small wood car. Oh, it's pretty. Um, you know, disc on stand, really simple. Um, I got a last one and I have. I like but, that. Um, but yeah, again, this can just go on the shelf and um, it's out the way. It's, it's, and mine and it's on this. You don't have to worry about anybody, you know. You know, like I said, you know, you want to avoid that whole elephant in a porcelain shop type of thing where people like they're in a museum and they can't, you know, right. space because everything's all over the place. So. Right. You want people to feel comfortable. Um, you know, right. it, it, it's amazing. I've had very few damaged items. Oh, really? And I, yeah, I don't think for the most part uh, that people come in and they're trying to tear up all your stuff. But, you know. Sure. Things happen because they are on vacation. They are relaxing. So you don't want to have something super delicate and right. then have guests in. It's just not going to work well. But right. so I read something on your website that I thought was interesting. You uh, indicate that sometimes you make pieces or you're involved. So what's, what's that about? So you know what? Again, being a Gemini and an itchy brain, I like to say, uh, I always am on the prowl for things that maybe I haven't seen before. And that's really my design ethos, like how I source things. Um, I like to select things that I've never seen or I haven't seen too much of um, because that's how my mother sort of um, really instilled in I have a twin sister, uh, me and my twin sister. She always said, go for things that are classic, unique. And so sometimes I'll see a piece like the, uh, I don't know if you saw the cowrie shell wall decor. Mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. the, uh, well, mm -hmm. that inspired by a um, Nigerian wedding uh, curtain. Oh. I find this piece anywhere. And it, that's how unique it is. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to show my supplier this picture and ask them, could they do something similar? And then I put oh. it out of that. And so they said, yes, they do it. And and, you know, that, I think, that instance just started me down that path of saying, you know what, if I can't find what I want, whatever's existing in my head, you know, I can just find artisans that will translate my ideas to these products. So, That's um, cool. That's real cool. Yeah, so, so I, more. talk about uh, fair trade as it relates to, uh, to how you source products. So, yeah. There's this whole like system. I'm a member of Chicago Fair Trade, and the whole focus is on sourcing items that are sustainable. But then also with that, you want to make sure that because historically you've had a lot of artists who have, you know, worked in these sort of sweatshops and have been taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. so the fair trade system is in place to protect the artisans from that. It it instills that or ensures that they get paid fairly for their for their work. Good. So, yeah, so that's that's what that whole thing is about. It's, like I said, it's a big network of businesses who are engaged in making sure that happen. Um, okay. So, because it's it's a big thing, you know, you have so many business sources from different countries. You want to make sure that people are not doing it. Yeah, yeah.
yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, you ship all over the world, I would imagine? I do. You know, we, um, it's funny because um, a lot of our customers are here in the U.S. We've shipped to Singapore, um, Italy, um, Germany. So, you know, okay. that's the component of, of what we do. Okay. What's the turnaround time if I were to order something about how long does it take for you to get it so, to someone? So if it's in inventory currently, we ship out really quickly now. Once the um, holiday started, I can't hear you that. Oh, yeah. Claim or placed on the website. But typically, um, you know, once we get an order in, a couple of days to process if the um, item is currently in stock, and then they're they're out of there in like a couple of days, so we'll get it within a week or maybe okay. a couple of days. But it's, okay. it's pretty because we do priority as well. We offer that to the public. Okay. So how should people uh, keep in touch with you so they know when you're getting new stuff in and they can check you out every time? Well, the best way is really to subscribe to our email because our email subscribers get the kind of the for everyone else. Okay. Um, but if, if they're not comfortable with, you know, getting emails, both things, Social media, like we connected via social media, I believe. Mm -hmm. Our Instagram um, at Global Attic. The website is www.globalattic.com. And we're also on Facebook too. And Twitter, but we're, I don't, yeah, Twitter's not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't tweet that much. <laughs> well, thanks so much. This has been so cool. I love every single piece. Uh, I hate to, you know, just spend all my money uh, right. at one time, but, you know, Face yourself, you know? <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you. I want to thank everybody who joined us today. And uh, be sure if you are decorating, uh, adding pieces to your short-term rental, check you out. Look at a uh, look online, globaladdict.com. You're going to love it. I promise. So I'll see everybody here next week. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye, Bye now. Hi, this is in.